Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my host, Lee Silber. Hi, Lee. What do you want to talk about today? Clear communication or... Unclear communication. Unclear communication. That screws everything up. It just wastes time. It totally does. There's nothing efficient about it. Say it it like it is. (laughs) There's nothing efficient (laughs) about bad communication. Yes. Okay, and we're done. Well, I mean, we always think of it as something verbal. I mean, I I give you instructions, and they just, when it's verbal, it just floats in the air. It's not Mm. real. It's just, you know what I mean? There's no. Right. But, and, when it's on, but that's not the only form. That's no, because I was covered ad say, nauseum, But there's yeah. also now <laughs> many ways you can communicate. And sometimes if you try in multiple ways, there's not a thread. So you're not sure, what was that again? Was that a text? Was that an email? Mm-hmm. Was it a phone call? Was it a voicemail? Was I can't it, remember. Yeah. yeah. Did he just say that to me? So you could see how it could get convoluted. Absolutely. Or get lost. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So you need a way to communicate clearly, especially if it's more than one person that you're talking to. I I, want to say, I think you need to find out what works best for you Uh and ask people to communicate with you in that manner, if you can. You know, I prefer email. Okay. I'm not me. I'm just saying, that's what I would say. You know what? I I mean, I I, I know you're a texter. I'm a texter. I really like, I really prefer if you would just send me an email. I like to keep a record of it, whatever. I'm not, that's not even me talking. I'm just saying that's what someone might say. Right. Or someone might be the opposite. You know what? I don't check my email. So can you just text me? Mm -hmm. Basically, what works, if you could find the commonalities, like I like texting, you like text, great. Let's just, let's let's just stick with that. But instead of the numerous different ways, you know, and I'm not, I think picking up a phone, uh, calling someone is one of the best ways to communicate clearly. Well, actually in person would probably be number Um, one. Yeah. But that's not always possible. And then when some, do you hear, if you don't take notes, what did they say? And most people don't take notes. Most anymore. people that's don't a, take that's notes. That's a lost art. Yeah. What I'm saying is clear communication is different for different people. Find out what works best. Like if you're with several people, no one's uh-huh. going to have the same, but try and come to a consensus or communicate in all formats at all times. So there's the same thread going through each thing. So smoke signals are completely out. I use a homing pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> No, and and this it makes very good sense because this week we had some issues. Oh, you're going there. I'm going there. I'm going there. We had some issues planning studio time. Yeah, because and we, you know, instead of sticking with one email thread, we went with a whole bunch of different ones. We weren't sure which day we were supposed to show up. People had things that showed up that they couldn't make on time, and. It was a bit All right, of a you, mess. You say they could. You're talking about me. I'm talking about Lee. <laughs> but I would go back to, I think we, I try and be clever sometimes. And I, I don't always know if clever is the best way to go. <laughs> and sometimes people will try and emulate that. Oh, let's be clever back to Lee. And by the time it gets to like a three or four emails, like we don't even know what the heck we're talking about anymore. It's like playing anymore. telephone when you're a little right. kid. So, uh, and people have complained that my emails, my subject lines, I always change them every time instead of, you know. Yes. Keep, oh, you do. But that's just me. That's me that's trying you. to keep my brain fresh and just trying to, you know, use my creative muscles. But people go, I can never figure out where this started. What what the heck? You're just... So maybe it is better to just be clear. I would say concise. Right. Not always. Sometimes you should be verbose if you really need to explain it. But summarize it with one sentence at the top. So we're meeting on Wednesday. And then after that, you know, as long as blah, 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 blah. Well, and I think I think you also need to know your audience. If, if, if it's just email that we're going back and forth, I find it amusing. But if we've got more <laughs> I people. Amuse you, you amuse me. Like a clown. <laughs> like a clown. But I find it, yeah, it, it's easy. It's fine for me. But when you get more than two people, it can be a problem. When you get three, four, five people involved in a conversation, that's a lot of ways things could go. What are we in the into... mob? We're trying to hide what we're really saying. We're talking in code here. You know what I say? Hit. I just mean, you know, we're going to play some baseball. <laughs> no. So clear communication, especially written communication, is essential. Yeah. Get to the point and Keep make it sure. You know, I think one thing um, people do is they know in their head what they're trying to say, but it doesn't yeah. always come out that way. 
They right. skip the connecting well, parts. Well, we've talked about this before, yeah. that it's really good to read out loud. Yeah. What do you, because then you're like, oh, that was important. I say we. See you tomorrow. We should. Where? When? <laughs> We should do that when I should yeah. say we shouldn't do, you know, in your head, you said shouldn't. And, oh, my gosh. So, yeah. And keep your emails short or your text short. Because people mm-hmm. don't really. I communicate as a coach to the parents, to my team. And a lot of times I get I, I could tell somebody didn't read it because they'll ask me the question that was already answered in the email. So I started to break it up into little bits. Ah. And I will say at the top, don't skip that there's important information here. And that has stopped. It's one particular parent, but their kid is really good. So I can overlook it. But uh, so it is important to just get to the point. Mm-hmm. And if you have a lot of information, break it in little things, little smaller pieces so that, you know, it's in individually. Each point is its own little separate paragraph or bullet. Okay. Keep it short. I just went over my own. I went too long. You, whatever. It's fine. So keep your communication short, concise, and efficient. Join us next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. 